give a helping hand to all. Then you will feel that your life will be happy. And because I am running short of time, so I won't get much of time. And now, okay, thank you all of you. I'm happy for that. Thank you. Good afternoon to all present here. At the outset, I would like to extend my warm wishes as well as uh, greetings for this uh, auspicious, not auspicious, momentous day. That is the foundation day. On the day our school brought its came into being, became an entity. But I would like to say this, that any school or institution doesn't become an entity because of a building, the infrastructure, the amenities or facilities, but it is all the stakeholders involved, that is us, our school being, the management, the teachers, students and the parents who actually make the school. They can make or break an institution, all of us. You know, whether our school gets a good name, it will be because of us. If it doesn't get a good name, it is again because of us. So, we are not separate. We are here, that is why the school is here. And the school is here, that is why we are here. My message will be very short. I will not take much time. I'll tell you a short a story. Okay? Usually the story starts with long years ago. So I will say something like that. Many years ago, the entire education system, along with all the people in that, all the stakeholders, got afflicted with a disease. You know, a very dangerous disease. And there is no name for the disease exactly. Nobody has still now given any kind of, no nomenclature is there for the disease. But there are some signs and symptoms which people can see. What are those symptoms? You understand what symptoms are? Something which you can see externally and you can make out that something is wrong. So there are three main symptoms which if you see, you can see the disease is still there. And if the symptoms are not there, we know that we are cured of, our system is cured of those, that particular disease. Okay? So the symptom number one would be that you will, there is too much dependence on your textbook. If the people feel that if they know the textbook right from page number one to page number last, they have getting proper education. That is disease number one. Everybody suffers from it, mostly many of us suffer. That if the textbook is properly memorized or studied, we are having a very good education. That person is studying really well. That is one symptom. Symptom number two is expectation. You have that particular problem if symptom number two is seen, and that is too much dependence upon the teacher. It is totally teacher driven. It is expected that the teacher will pour all that knowledge into your brain. The teacher will feed you all that facts and figures and concepts. That is another symptom. The learner will just be passive, receiver. Third symptom, looking at the process of learning as boring. Thinking that learning process is a burden. We have to somehow finish this, go back and then enjoy. Exams are all like a straw in our books. Now we don't need them anymore. If you have all these symptoms, you are having a problem. Because that is not what learning is. So what are the symptoms if you know that you are going in the right direction with proper learning? You should be able to enjoy learning every time. You should have curiosity to take knowledge, full 
knowledge towards yourself. It is not the teacher driven, it should be student driven. And the first one, what was it? If you have it in what was it? Too much depending on the textbook. Textbook is not the only place on where you can get the knowledge. You can get it from everywhere, every person. Every person in your surrounding your environment, you can get one. If you can see this, you will be the person very happy, very successful in life. If you are such learners, you will make us proud, you will make yourself proud, your parents proud and the institution proud and a great institution will be the name for our school, Sri Ram Centennial School, Patna, would get this name from this. So, that is all I would like to say today and I wish you all a very, very happy foundation day, all of us a very happy foundation day. Thank you. Well, thank you for that introduction. Very helpful. Uh, good afternoon to women all present here. Foundation Day is a designated day on which celebrations mark the founding of an organization. It is an opportunity for an organization to come together and celebrate the proud history with the community, employees and supporters. Now it said that together we are all part of something that is greater than any one of us alone. If we commit ourselves to the broader mission and not just ourselves, this will bring out the finest qualities in all of us. On this foundation day for the school's ninth birthday, let us pause and grasp the sense of war and companionship of each other. I still remember the first day of the school. We all started our journey of teaching learning with a group of 70 teachers and around 150 students. Many of us were new in this field. I was also new. I had never dealt with small children and was very anxious and not very confident too. I, rather we, were fortunate to have such a wonderful person to guide us, to handhold us, to pat us, to appreciate us and to give us honest feedback whenever required. The person was our beloved principal ma'am, Mrs. Smita Joshi. I would take the opportunity to speak about our director, Mr. Arun Singh, he was constantly there with us. He is a person who is very supportive and a man with a vision. His vision was to make each and every student of SRCS stand out from the crowd. He wants to entertain all the high qualities in each and every SRCS. I would like to extend my gratitude to both of them as I learned a lot from them. I would even like to thank a senior colleague of mine, Mrs. Sudhita Viswas, for helping me and guiding me through this journey. Last, but not, not the least, I would like to thank the promoters of the institute, Mr. Vikas Singh and Mr. Sunil Singh, for opening a school with quality education for the students of Patna. And I can never ever forget all the students who made us all proud by securing nice results in board examination and clearing various external exams and even securing nice positions. And today only we all heard Principal Ma'am talking about the students being confident in their fields. So it is what is being taught or rather entertained in all of you. We are after you for each and everything. Most of the time you might find that the teachers are after us. They are even nice making us understand how to walk, how to talk. But my it's for your benefit. So I would uh, like to end up my speech by telling we are learning, we would continue learning the way you are. Thank you all very much and I will call the success for each one of us.
धन्यवाद देना चाहूंगी जिन्होंने एक आदर्श एवं उच्च गुणवत्तापूर्ण शिक्षा देने वाली संस्था की स्थापना की बीज बोने का काम संस्थापकों ने किया मैं धन्यवाद देना चाहूंगी प्रधानाचार्य का जिनकी सुदृढ़ पैनी दृष्टि अच्छा उत्तम मार्गदर्शन संयमित वाणी से जिन्होंने विद्यालय को इस मुकाम पर पहुंचाया समस्त कर्मचारियों का धन्यवाद देना चाहूंगी जिनकी सहयोगिता के बिना इस विद्यालय को चलाना और काम को कर पाना संभव नहीं होता उन समस्त शिक्षकों का हृदय से धन्यवाद करना चाहूंगी जिन्होंने अपने खून पसीने से सींच सींच कर बीज को पल्लवित और पुष्पित किया शिक्षक वह किसान है जिसकी मेहनत के दम पर आज यह विद्यालय एक लहराहता खेत है शिक्षक वह पिलर है जिस पिलर के सहारे दीवारें खड़ी है और इस शिक्षा रूपी भवन टिका है धन्यवाद के पात्र है वो छात्र छात्राएं जो स्वर्णिम आभाली विद्यालय की आभा को चमका रहे हैं विद्यालय का मिशन है अकादमिक रूप से योग्य एवं मानवीय मूल्यों वाले व्यक्ति तैयार करना और यह काम हम सब बखूबी कर रहे हैं विद्यालय का उद्देश्य केवल पठन पाठन ही नहीं वरन वरन बहुमिति विकास संपन्न छात्र छात्राओं का निर्माण करना है इस दृष्टि से वार्षिकोत्सव आयोजन का भी विशेष महत्व है आज का दिन हमारे लिए जितना महत्वपूर्ण है उसी तरह हमारे पहले के संघर्ष भरे दिनों को भी नहीं भूलना चाहिए कि किस तरह मात्र सौ विद्यार्थियों के साथ शुरू हुआ यह विद्यालय आज किन ऊंचाइयों को छू रहा है किसी व्यक्ति के लिए उसका जन्मदिन जितना महत्व रखता है उतना ही महत्वपूर्ण विद्यालय का जन्मदिन भी होता है मुझे याद है वो समय जब आसपास इतने मकान नहीं हुआ करते थे ये क्षेत्र वीरान हुआ करता था सड़कें नहीं थी टूटे हुए सड़कों पर हिचकोले खाती हुई बस काफी लंबा रास्ता तय करके शहर से दूर शहर से बाहर इस सुनसान जगह पर आया करती थी हम सब यहाँ पढ़ाया पढ़ाया करते थे फिर घर वापस जाया करते थे मुझे याद है वो जाम जब घंटों हम सड़कों पर एक ही जगह टिक जाया करते थे गाड़ी दस से मस नहीं होती थी लाख छटपटा है हम कर कुछ नहीं सकते थे फिर भी हम जम गए रम गए फिर आया वो कोरोना काल रोने वाला काल काफी संघर्षों के बाद हम यहाँ तक पहुंचे खैर कई विपदाओं कई मुश्किलों के बाद भी हम निरंतर आगे बढ़ रहे हैं ये एक अच्छी बात है निरंतर उपलब्धियां हासिल हो रही है विद्यालय अपना नौवा वर्ष भी पूरा करने वाला है यह एक भाव और गौरव का क्षण है मैं समस्त संस्थापकों प्रधानाचार्य महोदय शिक्षकों एवं छात्र छात्राओं के जुनून और जज्बे को सलाम करती हूँ जिनकी बदौलत यह विद्यालय न सिर्फ खड़ा हो पाया अभी तो सफलता के शिखर तक पहुंचा मैं विद्यालय के स्वर्णिम भविष्य की कामना करती हूँ इस स्थापना दिवस पर हमें याद रखना होगा कि विद्यालय विद्या का मंदिर है और यहाँ हम विद्या देने और विद्या लेने आते हैं तो शैक्षणिक योग्यता के साथ हमें एक अच्छा मनुष्य भी बनना है इस बात को न भूले यदि शिक्षा के साथ मानवीय मूल्य अर्थात मोरल वैल्यू न सीख सके तो पूरी शिक्षा ही बेकार हो जाएगी और हम एक मनुष्य नहीं बन पाएंगे तब केवल एक कागज का टुकड़ा हमारे पास होगा डिग्रिया तो केवल रसीद है डिग्रिया तो केवल रसीद है तालीम वही है जो किरदार में दिखता है अतः हम सबको सोच समझ कर आगे बढ़ना है एक नई बुलंदी को छूना है धन्यवाद मिस्टर अरुण सिंह मिस्टर विकास कुमार सिंह एंड मिस्टर सुनील सिंह एंड आर वेरी लव लवेबल प्रिंसिपल मैम एंड वेरी वॉम गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स ऑल्सो 
a very happy foundation to today to one and all present here. As has been said by all the teachers right now, from Vasudhara Ma'am to Sudhita Ma'am to Atya Ma'am, this day our school came into existence, the academic session began over the year in this day. So, Foundation Day is actually the day when the past, present and future of the institution come together taking vows to uplift the institute to the greatest possible heights and dimensions. I would now be reflecting upon the, upon the footing and achievements of our school. Many paradigms of the education system are going through meaningful transformations. With a good schooling education, school and education, students get a chance to explore different avenues and possible career choices. Higher education gives children the skills to excel in a particular area of interest, thus making them more of a possible prospect for our employers to pursue. We have, our school has classes from AG to class 12 as we all know and various types of activities, personality development, lots of things are conducted over here for the grooming and the holistic development of our children. Experiential learning, hands-on learning are conducted for the junior classes. Through the middle sections, we have lots of PD classes, the clubs, and for the higher sections, it is more of a focus on the subject based. Core skills, the subject knowledge, these things are focused upon. So education in this segment is basically differentiated in very varies according to the needs, interests, and aptitudes of the pupils. This represents the gateway to a successful professional life. Apart from that, it is the bridge between the general formation of the mind and personality which school education is. And higher learning specialization on which your future is laid upon. This is the period that character begins to be formed. Character as a multifaceted expression of the effective, the slow learning of the vocational and the boundless vistas opened up by the spiritual and the intellectual. It is these many facets of human personality and its formative age stage that our higher school subserves. Now, if we talk about the senior secondary level, we all know that we have offered the science stream, the commerce stream and the humanities stream. Our management has offered all these courses, the streams to the students. It's open for all. And this basically emphasizes upon the course sub subject focus and specialized content. This is a stage where students identify the subjects of interest for future learning and get a better understanding of their career path. We all know that recently we had a career fair where the students of class 9 to 12 got an opportunity to interact with the uh, different universities. They got a chance to learn about the different career choices. They had an interaction. It was quite a learning experience. So these all sorts of learning experience we are already providing and we plan to give more more of these things in the coming years. Schools, over here we have some uh, other excursion also we recently had. So these are basically the activities which we are already doing and there are lots of things uh, like career choices, career counseling is also uh, one of the things that has been taken up. So these are basically the good things our management has introduced in the system and I hope they keep on giving more and more to the students of our state. Thank you so much, respected director sir, principal ma'am and all of you. Happy Foundation Day. You all together have put in great effort to make our school where it is today. We offer our sincere pronouns to them. We also cannot forget our founder teachers, Dr. Sudhita Biswas, Mrs. Basudra Srivastava, Mrs. Atya Zaheen and Shama Parveen. 
who have all poured their hearts and souls raised this institution from zero to here. Thank you for giving me an opportunity to teach and learn at the same time. We are moving from teacher-centered approach to student-centered one. From lecturing to activities, this is called learning by doing. We believe in experiential learning in which they learn by reconnecting their previous experiences. We teachers use activities like by mapping, snowballing, jigsawing, fishbowl, one minute talk, and think pair share to make this possible. We take the school to new heights in the following years. With this hope, I conclude. Thank you. Good afternoon, respected director, sir, principal, ma'am, teachers, and my dear students. As you all have gathered here to celebrate the ninth foundation day of this institution, I would like to thank all the founding members, especially our founding teachers of the school who have worked very hard to lay the foundation, the base of this institution and made it the way we know it today. Furthermore, it becomes our responsibility to take this institution to great heights and touch the sky. To do this, we have been focusing on the academics and our special emphasis has always been on the overall development overall personality development of the members of this institution. Now to accomplish this, we have arranged special grooming sessions and personality development classes which along with specialized clubs classes for all students which we are undergoing every day today also. I am very pleased to share my experience with you that we have achieved some really good results in this area. Finally, I would like you all and thank you all for your support and I wish you down in the school touching the sky with glory in its upcoming years. Thank you and have a wonderful year ahead. Foundation Day of our school. It gives me, gives me great pleasure to see the positive changes of our school. This is a special day when the entire school family has a chance to reflect not only the beginning of the school but also on the significant development since inception. We celebrate that we are blessed with beautiful surroundings and wonderful facilities. We celebrate the joy of learning as we develop in mind, body and spirit. We also celebrate the bond we share with past and present members of the school family. I am very lucky to be a part in sowing the seeds of this institution and proud, and proud to get the guidance from our revered principal ma'am and editor sir who encouraged me to be the best every day. The promoters Sunil sir and Vikas sir have always been the troubleshooters of the hindrance overcame my way. I am very grateful to my colleagues for their immense love and support. I would like to thank the students for their cooperation. I desire and pray that our school reaches greater heights of success. Thank you. Good afternoon, respected principal ma'am, director sir, teachers and all my dear friends. Today we have gathered here for a very special occasion that is Foundation Day. It has long been said and believed that to do any great work it is necessary to have the right foundation. It really forms the platform on which the future stands. The Foundation Day of School is the day from which the institution started its journey. So, it is clear that this day is special and surely it needs to be celebrated in a proper way. It has almost been nine years since the beginning of our school's journey, which is almost like a decade. And the most wonderful part of it is being a part of this from the very beginning. I have immense love and affection for this place which definitely feels like a second home. Every year when the foundation day is celebrated in the school, it is a time to think about the beginning 
and the changes that have taken place since the beginning leading to success over the years. Special thanks also to the teachers who have been with the institute since its inception and guided us, the students, in the best possible way in every work of life. Thank you from the bottom of my heart to everyone who has been a part of our school's journey. I hope you had a wonderful day at school today. Thank you. A very happy foundation. It is believed that a good foundation is the start for true success. I would like to thank our directors who had a vision of imparting such high quality education to the students. Also, I am highly obliged to my teachers for their constant support. They have always been successful in providing the most exciting atmosphere for learning. Now, the journey started in 2014 and now it's 2022. The span of these many years is full of beautiful memories and immense learning. Certainly, for me, SRCS has been a platform for transformation. Better learning, best teachers and unforgettable friendships have come my way. The annual function, the teachers' day celebration or the education camps, all the events have been equally fun. I felt glad to be a part of such an institution which makes learning fun. Moreover, this is just the start. Our school awaits many more glorious years to be celebrated. Once again, a very happy Foundation Day to all of us. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, by saying something on Foundation Day, I should not miss thanking the founder of our school, Arun Sir, who had a vision of imparting such high quality education to the students. With our vision and constant support and blessings, our school totally justifies its motto, learning to tomorrow, and prepares us to face the challenges of the world through its education system. With this, I would like to conclude. Happy Foundation Day to everyone.
I extend a hearty vote of thanks to our esteemed director, principal, who have added grace to this auspicious ceremony. I thank all the teachers, students, and staff to be a part of today's event. Thank you all, and once again, happy Foundation Day.